Hi, I'm Phil Haley, the Public Access Coordinator for NORCAM, North Reading's Public Access Station. And I'm here with uh, one of the founders of both the Community Coffee House of North Reading and the Performing Artist Series of North Reading, Art Grossman. Art, welcome to the studio. Welcome back. You've been here a couple times. I've been here before, yeah. yes. When we first started uh, about three years ago. Yeah, the Community, so. Co yeah, it's community Coffee yep. House. Yep. It's been it a powerhouse, if you don't years. mind me saying. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. We worked very hard, and a lot of people have. But we're going to talk a little bit more about today the Performing Artist Series, and oh, I'll, good. I'll touch on both, but that's sort of the, the, the main focus. Um, we began the Performing Artist Series in the fall of last year, of 2018, and uh, the goal was to bring sort of professional-level musicians to the community to, uh, like the Coffee House, help raise funds for the Friends of the Library and the various programs that they offer and, and the support they give to the community and to the library. Um, I, I want to make it clear that the Performing Artist Series is in addition to the monthly uh, North Reading Community Coffee House slash open mic that we run virtually on the third Saturday of every month uh, at uh, 7 o'clock in the activity room of the Flint Memorial Library. Uh, and again, it's in addition to it. It's, it's not instead of. It's yeah. in addition. It's a different. It's a different kind of program. One is uh, the coffee house. Monthly coffee house is performers, local performers who just want to go to an open mic. The performing artist series is, is professional level entertainment that we bring into the community. It's a great bonus. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it, I couldn't agree more. Uh, uh, and again, as, as I mentioned, uh, both, both programs are held in the activity room of the Flip Memorial Library at 147 Park Street, right across the street from the studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Center of town. It's easy to get to. Can't miss it. Plenty can't, of parking, too, which is great. That's right. That, yes, and we'll talk about the parking lot in a minute. <laughs> but, yes, plenty of parking. Uh, and uh, I want to make sure that I give thanks uh, to the support of the great performers that we uh, we've gotten and the support of the community as far as the uh, coffee house is concerned. That coffee house, which was initially a two-hour event, uh, and uh, in that two hours I would often wind up playing an hour and 45 minutes because nobody was there, is now, uh, is now a three-hour event and the popularity has gotten to a point where uh, musicians now have to sign up in advance, and there's a waiting list each month. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, waiting list if you want to perform. Uh, Where do people sign up? Uh, well, what happens is uh, two weeks before uh, an upcoming coffee house, yeah. for, exa for example, the next one is this Saturday on the 16th. Oh, okay. Uh, March 16th. March yeah. 16th, yeah. Uh, two weeks before March 16th, so March 2nd, I sent out an email to my list of performers, my, an email blast, and that, uh, that list of performers now has 140 performers on it. Oh my and, God, are yeah, you kidding me? No, 140 performers, and basically, insane, uh, Art. Uh, we, we, uh, I, I like to try to play, and we have 14 slots, so there's 13 openings, uh, assuming I get to play. Mm -hmm. And so really the first 13 that get back to me have a guaranteed slot. Hmm. And any other, uh, any other performers will know that if they're more than welcome to come and be on the waiting list, but there's no guarantee they can perform. This was a, this was a problem we never <laughs> thought we'd have when we started. Sure. But uh, again, because of the support of the performers and the support of the ever-increasing and appreciative audience, it's, it's the way we have to do it now. Uh, we want to keep the event to three hours. I mean, uh, well, after three hours, it gets to be a little bit of a long night. So this is what we think we, uh, we need to, to do. Uh, and I want to make sure that I, I thank the performers, I thank the community, and I thank the friends of the library uh, for really making this uh, coffee house slash open mic the success that it's become. Um, but back to the Performing Artist Series, uh, we began with two events in the fall of, two, of last year, 2018, I think I mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was a, was a husband and wife duo from Nashville called the Twangtown Paramours. And the second was a local band uh, that does New Orleans, the New Orleans kind of music, Zydeco music, the Squeezebox Stompers. And uh, 
both events uh, provided great entertainment, and we were able to raise money again for the library. That's fantastic. Uh, the plan is to do three to four of these a year, and we're still sort of uh, you know working that out. But that's sort of the general plan. It, it, we won't be do. We can't do it every month too much. But yeah. three to four a year, we, we hope to be able to do every three months. Every three. Yeah, or four something months. like yeah. that. If if we can work it out. And as I mentioned, I think uh, the next one. If I didn't mention the next one is uh, Friday, April twelfth, uh, and it's at eight o'clock because it's a Friday. We want to give a little people oh, a little bit more, more time, time to, yeah. to get there. Uh, very often, uh, you know, performers, when they're touring in the area, you, you know, you can't always get them on a Saturday. You know, they, they go to bigger venues or whatever. So we, yeah. try, we'll, we try to get them, uh, you know, on a Friday or a Sunday. This one happens to be Friday, April 12th, yeah. again, in the activity room of the Flint Memorial Library, starting at 8 o'clock. And the, uh, the fellow who's performing, his name is Rupert Waits. I'll talk a little bit more about him. He's a fantastic performer. Uh, uh, the, I won't... I won't bring anybody in there that I haven't seen and, and sort of vetted, so yeah. I, I know what we're getting. And I've seen Rupert, uh, listen to him. I, I, uh, he's very good. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about cool. him. Uh, <clears throat> and I also want to mention that uh, based on how we're sort of required to do these events, based on the rules of the library and, and whatever, we're not allowed to sell tickets. But we do ask for a suggested donation of $15, which is divided primarily among the performer and the friends of the library. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad um, the performer gets a little well, bit we, too, we, yeah. we, we want to make it worth the performer's while. So, yeah. uh, so the performer gets the, the, ma the majority of that money. Oh, that's nice. Um, and if you're, uh, if you're uh, able to make the suggested donation, dollar, $15 suggested, but you can do anything. Uh, if you can make the do donation, that's fabulous. And if you can't, we still want you to come. Yeah. Uh, you know, people can decide if they can do it or not, but it doesn't matter. The important thing is we want to get people to the event. So whether you can make the donation or not make the no donation, we still want you to come. And I can guarantee uh, that you'll have a great evening out at these uh, Performing Artist Series events. Uh, the first two, if the first two are any indication, uh, I have no trouble, trouble making that guarantee. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and I, I uh, for these performing artist series, even if you happen to come in for some reason and you don't like the entertainment, we go out and get really good desserts that we sell <laughs> at intermission. Yeah. And if you don't like the entertainment, I guarantee you'll like the desserts. So, Where do you get the desserts? Or uh, just no, I, um, there's a place that I go up to in... Uh, Newburyport called uh, Debbie's Fine Desserts, I think it's called, oh. uh, or Diane's Fine Desserts, and uh, I, I it used to be Alden Merrill Cheesecake, but now yeah. it's uh, now it's Debbie's or Diane's Fine Desserts, and there's they they're, they're fabulous, and there's usually something on uh, Yelp where you can get a coupon, and yeah. the first time we did one of these things, I was able to get a hundred dollars worth of pastries and desserts for twenty dollars. Oh, that's beautiful. So, and, and people yeah. love them. They yeah. love them. I'm I'm so, hungry now, so now I'm. <laughs> so yeah, so you, so even if you don't like the if you don't like the entertainment, I think it's yeah. almost impossible you won't like it. You will love the desserts. Yeah, there you go. Um, I also wanted to mention that a, a big part of this program is that we um, have had great support from the business community. Uh, because of the way we have to run it, not being able to sell tickets and things, we have asked business, uh, businesses to sponsor this uh, Performing Artist Series program so that we can hopefully continue it for some time. We don't want it to be just a one-year deal if, yeah. if we can help it. Uh, so I wanted to take a minute to thank the Reading Cooperative Bank, the Savings Bank, Winter Hill Bank, uh, Moynihan Lumber, and Heavenly Donuts, uh, who have helped make these future events possible. And we're always looking That's for awesome. we're always looking for more sponsors. So if anybody out there, uh, how can well, they contact you? Well, yeah. they can contact me uh, through the. Um, my, the email for the coffee house, which is nr, like North Reading, yeah. nrcoffeehouse at gmail.com. Uh, or they can call me uh, at 617-592-4398. Uh, but we're always looking for more sponsors. Uh, we're waiting to hear from Walmart. We'll see what happens with oh, that. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we're always looking for some more. So if anybody's interested in becoming a part of this, we'd love to hear from you. So, That's awesome. Yep. And... Uh, 
lastly, before I go into a little bit more on Rupert Waits, uh, I, uh, I need to mention, the uh, again, uh, the never-ending support that both the Coffee House and the Performing Artist Series has received from this fellow, oh, Phil Healy, well, thank Norcam, and, and, Nor and the NORCAM staff, who uh, tapes our events for broadcast and eventually uh, places them on YouTube. And, uh, and I also need to thank Maureen Doherty at the uh, North Reading Maureen's Transcript, great, who's yeah. been a fabulous supporter of ours. We couldn't ask for better partners on this. Uh, and thank it, you, by the way. That, well, that, it's our I, pleasure. You give us content, and it's something for the town. Well, so there you, you know what? It, it, it's still a partnership, and, it, and yeah. it has to work, and it does work. For people who are interested, uh, any of our, or if maybe not all, but for most of our past uh, coffee houses, uh, if you go to YouTube, and I think it's North Reading Community Coffee House on YouTube. Oh, yeah, you can just you'll, type it in. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to see. I think all of them are up there, well, or like if, maybe 90% of yeah, them. Yeah, most of them, certainly yeah. mostly over the last couple of years. They're out there, you can, and anybody who wants to uh, go out there can see them. And I think it, it's something similar for the Performing Artist Series, North Reading. Yeah, they're up there, yeah. It, but the name may be a little different, but if you go with something like North Reading Community Coffee House, You'll get to both. If you go on our Nor if you on YouTube and go to Norcam, our YouTube page, you'll be able to look at our playlist and you'll be able to find it under there. So yeah, perfect. No, it's good. Yeah, perfect. And I like and I'm sorry. I'd like to thank the volunteers who, because uh, we're a volunteer organization. Yes. And if we don't do it, what Jim Watman? Jim Watman has is been great. fabulous. He's been there most of the time. But the, the other yep. folks, Gustavo are, Franco has done one. Great, great job. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't be happier. They. It really makes a difference, uh, you know, to be able to go out oh, and, and, Tia, and, yes. and see, uh, you know, see these coffee houses. Yeah. It's great. Um, and, and let me tell you personally, I know uh, I've watched them at home and on YouTube. I've had uh, friends in town who have uh, delightfully had a, a belt of scotch and or whiskey and like, I'm just going to sit and watch some community coffee house because it, it's great. There you go. It's, and, no, it's great and, performers that show think, up. Just to remind, I think you can remind me, you'll know better than I do. I think yeah. it's channel 26 if you're on Verizon I, and channel 8 if you're on Comcast. Does that sound right? I you? believe so. And yeah. I will, I'll try to put the actual, I, we always mess it up here because we're, yeah, we're always. I, I think that's what I it think is. I believe it is. Yeah. yeah. And if you're out of, if you have Verizon and you're not in North Reading, you can actually watch it. Oh, okay. On, because uh, we, it's weird. Comcast doesn't do it for whatever reason, but Verizon, if you're in like neighboring towns like Wakefield, Reading, yeah, uh, sometimes as far as um, uh, Salem, you can catch it. But there's a the surrounding towns can catch it too. So yeah, you know, I heard about, cool. I heard about Salem being able to catch it. I actually oh, do. Wow. Uh, uh, there's a fellow over there, Dan Trombley, who yeah. uh, works with uh, at, at Salem. Uh, Cable access, whatever yeah, the right does. terminology he is. He gives and, us some programming too, yeah, the and, and, and yeah. I do. I I go over and do some music events with him on their local cable channel. Derby and Street Der Variety. Derby Street. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it sort of sort of works out for yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's funny how uh, the communities come together. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's great. Let me just take a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about Rupert Waits, the fellow yeah, who's please. coming on uh, on April twelfth. Uh, as I mentioned, he's the the next in our performing artist series. And just a little bit about Rupert. Rupert was born in London and he studied at Oxford. Uh, and he's oh. been a full-time songwriter since the late 1990s. And while he was in London, worked with some of the, the, you know, the best performers in London. And they have lots of good ones there. Yeah. Uh, he moved to Paris in 2001 and then came to the United States in 2006. He's won more than 40 songwriting and performing awards. And his music is sort of, I will call it an eclectic mix of acoustic, uh, art, folk, with some jazz, some vaudeville, some cabaret. Um, he's released 10 CDs, uh, the latest of which, Full Circle, was just released in January. Uh, and to show you what I think of him, I saw Rupert as a featured performer at an open mic in Westford about a year and a half ago. And I listened to him, and he had about... Uh, eight of his CDs with him at that time, and I bought every one. Oh, wow. I've never done that for any artist. I bought every CD that he bought with him. Oh. Uh, I, I, that's what that's I, that's high a, praise, that, man. That's how much I thought of his music. Um, and uh, his singing, his writing, his guitar work, and his general performance is outstanding. And I really hope people will come out and, and hear this wonderful performer uh, mm. on Friday, uh, April 12th at 8 o'clock. The doors will open at 7 
you can get some of those great desserts uh, early or while they last, yeah. And uh, you will not be disappointed. It will be um, it, it'll be worth your while. If anybody out there wants to check out Rupert Waits uh, in advance to see what he's all about, you just go to Rupert Waits Music, W A T E S, hmm. uh, Rupert Waits Music dot com, and you'll get everything you, you want to know about him. Um, He's actually in the area. I have no idea when this is going to be aired, yeah. but uh, uh, in, in the next few weeks, uh, he'll be uh, at the New Moon Cafe in Haverhill oh, uh, yeah. in, uh, on, the, on uh, the 16th of March, and on the 24th, he'll be at the Hearing Room in Lowell. That's a great place. I go there a lot for lots of different events, uh, uh, and uh, he'll be there, and then uh, a couple of weeks later, he'll be... In North Reading. Cool. And where can people go to find out more about Performing Artists Series? Well, if you go to uh, North, if you go on Facebook to North Reading uh, Community Coffee House, I sort of put everything there, whether it's oh, okay. Performing Artists Series or uh, or the Coffee House. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not savvy enough yet with Facebook to have two Facebook pages. I have enough sure. trouble managing one. But uh, again, you can go there. I, I put posts up related to both. And uh, if there's any questions, again, uh, I can be reached at nrcoffeehouse uh, at gmail.com or I can, you can call me, anybody can call me at 617-592-4398 and I'll answer any questions you might have. That's awesome. Yep. All right. Do you have anything? Uh, that's, that's pretty much the cool. story. So it's pretty the third uh, Saturday night. The 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 the, the, for the monthly coffee, coffee house. house slash open mic is the third Saturday of uh, every month, with the exception of August this year because I have to go to a wedding. Oh, well, and, have a good time. Uh, and then uh, in December we uh, we do a holiday coffee oh, house. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and that that date is usually to be determined. I don't know that yet, but it's a different format. It's where not we do, an open mic. Do, right? yeah. It's not a, not really an open mic. But it's it's done earlier, so families can come. We sit yeah. around in a big circle and sing holiday tunes. Oh, that sounds um, sweet. It's it, it's a great time, but it's it's a different format. So. The November sort of the last regular coffee house of the year. Then we go back to the same format in January. Nice. And hey, find out more about it on uh, Facebook, and you can contact you. Absolutely. Art about all of this, about Anytime. the performing artists and that. Great. Yep. That's awesome. Art, thank you for coming by. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right, cool. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, yeah, uh, go to one of these things at the library. Uh, Community Coffee House is a great event. So it's a performing artist series, and yeah, check up on it.